What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and I'm gonna do my breakdown of a Leroy trailer. I actually watched this live yesterday, EVO Japan Tournament. I did commentary with one of my best friends, put that it was so much fun. So we got, we actually got a cool live reaction to this trailer, but I can't use it at all. Because uh, re-watching it, I was like, what's that fucking noise in the background? And uh, when they played this trailer, they actually kept the commentator's uh, audio track on. So you could hear Ryan Hart louder than Leroy go, Oh my god, oh my god, it's Leroy! Oh my god, it's so cool! Ah, 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 ah. And he was even louder than me. And then also super fun, like Harada, after the trailer, Harada and Murray are talking, Oh, we're planning, we're planning to do this. We have Ryan Hart again! Oh my god, we, we gotta do that! Oh my god, do that! I'm like, Harada, hello? I was like, I don't know who was in charge of the technical stuff, like the technical production, but it was like... So, uh, sorry, like, my, my uh, initial reaction to that was just completely unusable. You can't hear me. And, I, and, and you can't hear Le <laughs> Leroy either. <laughs> so I'm going to watch Leroy today. I'm going to watch Asuka. Uh, so I've only watched them once. And we'll do a breakdown as well. Go through them step by step. Uh, but I, w I was expecting to see a Leroy uh, trailer uh, very quickly. Considering he, he is like their best uh, visual design in 20 years. I, I would say, uh, and, and obviously, like, super popular, was cosplayed by rapper T-Pain, like, uh, immediately. Uh, I really, really like Leroy. Yeah, he's a bit annoying to play against. He's so oppressive, like, like his offense. There's, uh, he really is, like, a modern Tekken character in that sense, but he's just so cool. But I, I just knew, knew he was going to get a trailer uh, very soon. I love this statue. Wonder why he's gotten a statue if they're going to mention that in the story, like he's a hero for some reason. A sugar looks great in Unreal Engine 5. Time to take out the trash. And he's got a new voice, right? He, he sounds so much older. Uh which which I like. But I mean he, he is like 60, so I mean. Ready for the next battle. <laughs> Grand Master of Drip. I mean, 70% of me just goes, yeah. And 30% of me wants to cringe a little bit, but I love it. Yeah, I mean, he, it, it's a factual statement. It is a factual statement. Section eight. I mean, he, he looks really fucking good. He looks really fucking good. Because I was like, with his design in Tekken 7, I was like, it's so perfect, I almost want them to keep, you know, the, the white, uh, what the fuck do you call it? Coat. And the red pants. But so we're, we're sort of keeping the coat, but we're giving it way more, like, golden details. Uh, I don't know if those are dragons or whatever. Uh, but I, I really like the mixing with the black as well. Um, he looks super sick. New challenger! I mean, those pants look really slick. Yeah, let's just watch it. Hell sweep still homing. That's a low, right? Ah, I love that. The fists reveal the fighter. Show me what you've got. Punish. I mean, seriously, how fucking cool is that move? That pressure. So sorry, but th this sounds this sound legit made me nut yesterday when I heard it. Now, the 
magnificence of Wing Chun. He's so fucking cool. So the rage art is a bit similar to his old one, but it's just to me enhanced. I love a sequence where he trips them, knocks them to the ground, kicks them on the ground, uh, and then the one inch punch, and then with the the black dragon coming coming out of his uh, arm, and I think he even has a black dragon tattoo on his arm, right? I think, is it like his tattoo, you know, cu coming out, coming to life or something? Uh, I think he has a black dragon on his arm. Uh, but I, uh, yeah, I, I gotta say, like, I, I just really, really like Leroy. Uh, and they really uh, just added way more of these, uh, you know, Ip Man. Um... I mean, you've all seen Ip Man with Donnie Yen, you know, and the coolest sequences are always when he goes, tut, 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 you know, in I Ip Man 1, he goes against 10 karate guys, and one of them, he just... Uh, keeps machine gun punching him straight into the ground and it's just a super cool sequence and we've just added more of that to, <laughs> to uh, Leroy and uh, it, they really uh, nailed it in like the design is so fucking cool and then they went with Donnie Yen Ipman who's so fucking cool right in, in fighting style uh, and I also I, I guess I really liked Leroy because it it felt also so much like a Tekken character in, in, in the classic sense. Sure, they've modernized it in like homing hell sweeps and, and super oppressive, but he feels so grounded. You don't press a button and he's not flying, you know, and uh, using chainsaws. He feels a little bit more grounded classic martial arts character, uh, which, which I really enjoy with him. Time to take out the trash. Ready for turn eight. New challenger! Leroy Smith! Leroy Smith, dude. But yeah, let's. I'm gonna watch this in slow motion now. Uh, let's see, playback speed. That is not back four because that's his left leg. That's a homing high that's really plus on lock. That goes into Hermit. So that's a very good option. And this is the classic 3-4. Hermit 3-4 still there. Power Crush. <laughs> Wait. That's forward, forward, 1 plus 2. Did they make forward, forward, 1 plus 2 a Power Crush? Forward, forward, one plus two is a power crush. That's pretty disgusting. Devon, thanks for resubbing. Parry. Parry. <coughs> Parry seems the same. I don't know what <coughs> what move this is. Must be a new one. That goes into Hermit. And now. For some reason, he can do Hell Sweep out of Hermit. Oh, that's down back four. What? That's not down back four. I, I don't think he has this attack in Tekken 7, the low he does here. That's full crouch down forward four. <laughs> no, it's not self <laughs> Full crouch down forward four is, uh, what's it called? An inwards uh, crescent. Like you're crouching and doing a roundhouse, sweep sweeping the floor. Uh, but uh, being able to do hell sweep out of Hermit, I mean, that is pretty, pretty fucking good. And you see, we're still, we're showing in the trailer that yes, it is still homing. We're showing this by having Xiaoyu step here. So still a homing hell sweep, which is pretty disgusting. 
Um, uh, and I love this. He's just pimp cannon, pimp cannon Shao Yu, and and it's a low. I mean, as you can see, it hits her in Art of Phoenix into into launch. Wait, and he, dr he did he drop it on the ground? Yeah, he drops a cane. But but it doesn't stay on the ground? What? It goes away? <laughs> That's a visual downgrade, I have to say. I mean in Tekken 7, it, it does stay on the ground. Here it just goes poof. It it does stay on the ground, you know, in Tekken 7. Okay, I hope they fix that. Or, or do they mean it drops, vanishes, and then he can bring it out again or something? But but it's not. Uh, we we don't know if this is once per round, ob obvious, and uh, once per match. Sorry. But you know, if Pimp Kane is a low now that launches, and that looks like it's it's homing as well, right? That looks like it's going to have a ton of tracking, judging by the animation. I mean, if he still has his orbital, which, which I'm sure he does, like, yeah, it's gonna be a fun mix-up. Holy shit. I mean, that, that is a low launcher. With probably a ton of tracking. And, you know, he's not in heat. I'm thinking this is the new Pimp King, right? He's not in heat. Yeah, that's, that's disgusting. Wait, is this is this throw from Hermit? <laughs> I love this shit. I mean that that air throw is so fucking sick. And that has a built in parry now. No, I mean, that, that's a completely new string, parry. Resplat. <laughs> Poor Shao Yu, holy shit. Yeah, you can see the dragon here. Oh, right here. <clears throat> While sending two, this is minus 18, I think. The punish. It just, it feels so right that Leroy is now base roster. Where he should be. Was even in the, you know, Tekken anime on, uh, on Netflix. Yeah, it just, it just feels right. He's going to be there day one, base roster, and he just adds so much flair to it. <clears throat> so that's again the, the new uh, homing. Hi. So that, that's going to be, what, a 40, 50 damage heat engager? Un unless they've nerfed the damage, that's a 14 frame, 50 damage heat engager. <laughs> I 
That's good. Oh, and he just smashes the tele uh, phone booths here. So that's obviously his heat smash, and uh, one of the coolest ones so far, I think. So here, here you see how oppressive, you know, not only the heat engager is, but if they do a heat engager into dash, a heat dash, while they are in heat. I mean, th this is what I observed, like, many, many times when I played Tekken 8. It's the same, you know, when you block Paul's death fist when he's in heat and he dashes into it, like this. You're locked into a block and it feels like minus 10. And you take another hard mix-up. Oh, one, one, one plus two, one, his 10 frame. Oh my god, it again knocks down normally. So it's gonna wall splat yet again. His 10 frame counter string. Oh, that's gonna be disgusting. They actually nerfed that, you know, in Tekken 7. They removed the knockdown wall splat because it was seen as too oppressive, and now it does it again. Oh, and right, and he is already in heat here, yeah, he's in heat. So when he's in heat, is, is, that's down for 1 plus 2, right? It's now, it's now a launcher, because, yeah, you can heat dash from it. It's a heat engager, I guess. Oh, right! That's the pimp cane from Tekken 7, but it's a bit reanimated. And he drops it. And it's poof, it's gone again. So he has pimp cane low, pimp cane mid. Does he need dual pimp canes? I mean, I feel like one is, like, probably enough. <laughs> He's got pimp cane mix-ups. <gasps> oh, shit. The essence of Wing Chun. Wait, wait, he, he knocks Lord down. You see, he knocks Lord down. Lord's on the ground, like, ah! And then Lord gets back up again and <laughs> stands in front of Leroy. <laughs> like this, no guard, like, oh. <laughs> Well, this is some proper, like, WWE. Uh, like, yeah. Law being a good guy, he's really selling this shit. But I, I, I gotta say, I find his rage art really. Except all, chase no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy to have Leroy back, and he's base roster where he should be. We got his trailer really early, he deserves it. He looks fucking great. Looks like a million bucks. Yeah, I love his new attack attacks, heat smash is really cool. 
I'm a, I'm a little bit scared with the with the pimp cane low there. That, that's a launcher that seems to have a lot of tracking. And his 10 frame is now knocked down wall splat again. So <laughs> there's a little bit of stuff to get scared of here. Um, but he, he, he is so cool. He's so cool. I mean, as much as I can get annoyed going up against Leroy, I, I still love the character. He's too cool. The Grandmaster of the group. That's so really happy for... I'm, I was gonna say Leroy mains, but I'm happy for all of us. He, he just enhances the game. He just does. And I'm sure King J was really happy with this trailer. <laughs> Dusty Alley, yeah, he's the EU. Leroy. But that's so these sound effects. People have to start talking more about the Tekken 8 sound effects because they are just uh, fucking amazing. 10 out of 10. Uh, but so yeah, good shit. Now let's, wa let's watch Asuka.